Well, good morning. An ongoing subject we've had this morning about great sort of uh, movie and TV characters, and obviously Mr. Darcy has, has come up as such a romantic character. Can't believe it's 19 years ago. Yeah, I, I can believe it. Actually. Can you? Yeah. We've done a lot since. <laughs> it does, yeah, it does feel like <laughs> You've done an awful ago. lot since. And mm. probably actually the thing that really launched you for worldwide. Well, I feel like, I don't know, I can't measure those things. Mm. I, I kept thinking I'd been launched and then something would happen and then everyone would say, he's been launched. And it's <laughs> as if what had come before had never happened. So yeah. that, 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 that's happened episodically, which is probably quite a good thing, really, to get a relaunch every so often. A lot of people enjoy making the movies, and obviously that's, you know, where you make your fantastic living from, but they also want to come back and do the West End stage. Mm. Um, had a lot of great actors, actually, treading the boards. Would mm. you do that? Would you like to be back on the it's stage? Been, it's been too long, I yeah. think, um, and I would like to, yeah. Um, I don't really... I'd love to do the West End, I'd love to do Broadway. I'd, mm. I'd, it could be anywhere, really. Um, but, uh, and what I, would you like to do? I don't know yet. Um, thoughts have come and gone. I've had the conversations. The moment sort of slips away sometimes. But I, I, I'm seriously thinking about it now. Right. And, I, and it appears, I think something small, probably. I like small theatres. I like the capacity, you know, the, the places where you can still... Um, do things with a bit of intimacy. Mm. Uh, the last play I did, which is an age ago now, um, was at the Donmar Warehouse. Okay, and um, such a great place. It is an absolutely wonderful yeah. place. So that's that's the kind of venue that I'd be attracted to. I think. Okay, uh, we'll talk more in just a moment. Colin Firth, our guest. It's Magic Breakfast. Right, Magic, we are back with uh, Colin Firth this morning. We're now getting into that crazy season. BAFTAs were announced this week, of course. The BAFTA nominations were announced yeah, this yeah. week. And then, of course, Oscars come and what have you. Do you find it a silly season? The silliness involved, there's no question about it. Um, I, it it's delightful. Uh, it's not very... Uh, it's also stressful, I think, for mm. the people involved in it. Is it? Yeah, I mean, that, you know, both in the good and the bad. Yeah. Know, people are excited. They're sometimes they get a bit too carried away and, and too excited. Um, sometimes I think one of the, the nice parts of it is that you are, you, you find you know most people involved and you run into people okay. and, uh, and it's, it's, it's quite nice sort of taking refuge in old friends in, in amongst all the silliness. Having won an Oscar for obviously the King's Speech, did it make life any easier going into it, having sort of at least you've got one now? Perhaps. I mean, it's, it's still, I, there haven't been too many of them since then yet so i i don't really have much of a measure of it i mean okay. i wasn't i wasn't going to the show the you know the award shows that much beforehand really um so i haven't got very much to compare it to um you you're supposed to do it all again and present the year after that and i did enjoy that okay actually because there wasn't any pressure on me yeah, i wasn't uh, there were no expectations there was no nomination there was no edge of your seat moment you're just you know you get up there and hang over, handing over the gong to someone else nice and uh, and so there's something quite nice about that if you take the railway man out of the equation just looking at the other some great films actually in the last 12 months who do you think's going to end up doing well this year it's very hard for me to say because i haven't seen enough of the films okay. yet because i've got children of 12 and 10 so i can talk about despicable me too yeah, good isn't um, it yeah. Yeah, it's great. Great film. You know, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I can I can take you through most kids. Most yeah. most kids. Obviously, got two. I've got twelve, eleven, and seven. So right, yeah. I'm sure we've seen all the same movies in the last few years. Yeah. Uh, but look, Colin, absolute pleasure to have you in. Best of luck with this, and I did uh, thoroughly enjoy it. But it was a, a, a warning, isn't it? I think if you go to see this film, take some hankers. It's a weepy. It is.